Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to present how to perform a light calculation and we are going to use the light calculation that we have integrated to DDS CAD Electrical. So check it out. So in the electrical toolbox we find this electrical calculations efficiency method. So we left click. There are three options to identify the area. In this case I'll select the pick a room option and click next. So I will click inside the room where I would like to make the calculation, in this case the, the room 0118 office. So left click. As you can see, DDS CAD identifies uh, the room description, the room number and the area. And we have the input for working level, illuminance, height, and also we have the drop down list for reflection factor and maintenance factor. So I will change the illuminance to 500 and I will change the height for 2.5 as we can think about inserting a suspended ceiling and I'll click next now um, we're going to set which product we're going to use the DS CAD opens um, well there is the option to to open the product database for fluorescent lamps or lamps various so we just click here and we switch the product database. I will select this fluorescent lamp, but I want to check, uh, I, I want to select another uh, product. So I'll click on the three dots button. So from surface mounted filter, um, let me extend. I want these 58 watts, so two boobs of 58 watts. Okay. So we already see the, the new fluorescent lamps. And we can change the orientation so we click next now and now we see the the grouping and we can like uh, manually edit this grouping so I just click on a, on a checkbox enable manual editing for example instead of two in the X direction I could insert one pressing tab we see the result in the model and below we see the calculator results so because I have changed it over here, uh, my grouping, the number of, of, of fluorescent lamps, we see the luminance now uh, went down for 215. If I change the grouping again to in the X direction, so now I have four fluorescent lamps and my luminance has increased. So I'm done, so I just click finish to, to conclude and the function is still activated so i can left click the the next room if i want to keep the calculation and as you can see again the the the, the room is recognized as before but the input information has been maintained from from the last calculation so we have the same height the same luminance and it's what we have changed if we click next we also see that it, it has maintained the, the previous product we have select we have selected and we click next again and we can click finish to conclude now I'll press escape to to finish and I want to generate a report so to 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 get the the report we can select any of these groups so I left click, right mouse click to open the context menu and go to properties. In the properties now, I find the, the button report. So we click here. So I will drag my, my report to this screen. Uh, in the top, top left, we click on the efficiency method. We see this front page with some information that I have previously added. But the important here is that on the bottom left, we have the checkbox for the light calculation and the light calculation list. So I'll click both in both. And I will just click now and I'll go to the next page to see the results. So uh, it will be presented one page for each calculation. And the last page in this case is the list of calculations. If you have any questions about this video or any suggestion, just put your comments below and we get back to you. Cheers!